by the end of this video, if you're new to Trade Happy, you're going to have a better understanding of what Trade Happy is, what we stand for, and how you can get involved in Trade Happy. This is going to be a very, very long video. We're going to be going over absolutely everything that you're going to need to know to get started with Trade Happy. Uh, if you're new here, take one second to go and hit that subscribe button. We make three videos per week. We have a community of over a thousand traders in Discord. We're constantly developing new things in terms of strategies and mindset tips, routines, all these kind of things. The goal of Trade Happy is to help you to trade stress-free. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, a little bit of an announcement. It's not really an announcement, but um, we are developing an automated strategy for you guys uh, because we have had a lot of requests for it and it is something that we are developing at the moment it's looking very very positive it's going to be for indices we hope that you enjoy that and it's going to be coming out soon question of the day the question of the day is where do you see yourself in three years what goals do you have put it in the comments below i'd love to hear from you um, i reply to every single comment and make sure to put your uh, question of the day answer in the comments below and I will get back to you. Let's get into the video. So where do you start, right? Where where do you start if you want to get involved with Trade Happy and have a better understanding of what we stand for? I recommend reading the following books. Um, now, this is not kind of a sponsorship or anything. It's basically just books that I recommend for you to read to get um, a better understanding of what Trade Happy stands for and the way that we, we like our traders to think. The first book is Think and Grow Rich uh, by Napoleon Hill. Great book on mindset, thinking your way to being rich. It's not as easy as it sounds, but yeah, it is a kind of mindset shift. The next one is Money by Rob Moore. This is not a very popular book in terms of uh, the trading scene, but personally, I think it's an, an amazing, amazing book for anyone that wants to understand more about money, more about investing, more about business, all these kind of things. The next book is Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. I talk about this all the time in terms of uh, in the academy and videos. It's an amazing, amazing book. It's changed my trading. Um, so I highly recommend that book. The next one is One Good Trade. Uh, by Mike Mirafuri, amazing book for changing your mindset towards trading. It isn't Forex related, but it's trading related. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend that book. And the last one is the 10X rule. This is not for trading. It's just for you in general to have a, uh, a big kind of goal setting, goal hitting mindset. Um, so those are the books that I recommend. I will, I'll link above uh, a video that we've created on 12 books over 12 months. Uh, that is a massive, massive thing. So make sure to go and have a look at that video. The next thing is about developing confidence and self-esteem. Um, these are not kind of books that you should read, but tips. Tip number one is your negative, uh, your negative thoughts, your negative thinking is not reality. Okay. So what I mean by this is you're going to have other traders, other family members, other friends tell you that you're doing something wrong, you're stupid, whatever it is. It's not going to help you if you're then relaying that message back into your mind. Okay, so whatever kind of negative thoughts you're having, understand that that's all it is. It's a thought. It's not a reality. And just because you're thinking it, just because someone is saying it to you, does not mean that it is real. We get countless people telling us that we're dumb. We need to do more research. We don't understand trading. Why are we trading? Um, all these kind of things, right? Ignore them. Ignore them. You're going to get the exact same. So just because someone disagrees with you, or says that you're dumb doesn't mean that you are dumb right i guarantee you there's probably going to be one comment on here saying why are you making this video you shouldn't be making videos right move on move on next tip uh the next tip is to stop overthinking um warren buffett kind of talks about this a little bit 
in terms of it's like sucking your thumb right you're not a baby anymore stop sucking your thumb and just take action um he's basically meaning stop overthinking and do what you're what you impl what you intend to do um you know stop planning take action that's basically what he's saying um so stop sucking your thumb and, and do something the next one is to focus on yourself and not on others there's a lot of traders that i, that I kind of see that don't focus on themselves enough they're looking at other traders they're saying what's this trader doing what's this trader trading um how can i trade the same way that this trader's trading it's it that's not how it works right you need to focus on yourself because at the end of the day you're the only person that can make you profitable right you're the only person so stop focusing on other people and start focusing on yourself because that's where the actual results are going to take place um next thing is to work out and eat healthy i am not preaching this to you it's just you know if you're healthy you're going to feel better you're going to get better results you're going to be blah 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 just do it it's a simple thing that can make you get better results and feel better in the process the next one is never to speak negatively about yourself um if i can i will link another video here um it's a i can't i can't recommend the the, the video enough if i can't link it there will be a um a screenshot that will pop up um of the thumbnail and, and you can go and you can go and watch that video don't speak negatively he talks about it a lot in the in the video um but it's it's really really not a good thing so yeah let's move on to the next thing there's obviously a little bit of a saying show me your friends i'll show you your future um this section is basically just going to be about this so the first kind of thing that i like to uh say to people whenever we talk about uh show me your friends i'll show you your future is a quote from plato okay it's a quote from plato that basically says now uh i obviously agree with some of it I, I i agree with the the meaning behind it i maybe don't agree on some of the words that he used but i'm gonna say it anyway um so i'm just gonna read the quote right now uh people are like dirt they can either nourish you and help you grow as a person or they can stunt your growth and make you wilt and die what he's basically saying is if you surround yourself with stupid people you're probably going to be stupid if you surround yourself with high achievers you're probably going to be a high achiever that is what he's saying these people are stunting your growth and making you wilt and die these people will nourish you and help you grow as a person that is what he is saying um i'm 100 percent agree I, I have made videos of this in the past but i will quickly explain what this is um maybe i'll put like a little bit of a graphic up on the screen um, but basically you have these quadrants that go up um and they overlap okay so you the the bottom 10 percent overlap the top 10 percent overlap and this is groups of people right so the higher you go the the better or the higher performance you are uh, the more successful you are um i know obviously some people are going to say money doesn't equal success i am just going to use it for this example okay if you're earning you know minimum wage you're down here if you're earning jeff bezos money you're up here and everything in between right you can either stay so let's say you're in the middle you can stay in that bottom 10 percent or no sorry you can stay in that top 10 percent and in your little group of people you're the top earner okay so you feel amazing right you're earning more than billy you're earning more than sarah um blah 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 it doesn't really mean anything if you were to move up a level right so now you're 
you're moving from this or you're moving from this box to this box and it overlaps a little bit you're now in that bottom uh 10%. So if you move into that next box you're now seen as stupid, right? You're now seen as stupid because that box up there you're in the bottom 10% of those earners. Everyone else is earning more than you, right? So because you're in this bottom 10%, you now, whereas if you were to stay in your comfort zone, pretty much in that box below, you feel amazing, but you're staying in your comfort zone and you're not moving up. So that's the whole thing of if you surround yourself with better and better people, you're going to get better and better and better. Um, I know that was kind of a long winded answer, but I, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. Um, the next one, again, is a quote from Socrates this time. Um, and it basically is, you need to find a mentor or, or a coach. Um, the, the, the quote from Socrates is, the only true wisdom is knowing that you know nothing, right? So many people nowadays think that they know everything, right? And I know you're probably thinking, well, you have a YouTube channel, you're trying to help people, blah, 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 and sharing knowledge. You probably think that you know everything. If you, I know this is kind of meant for people that don't know much about kind of trade happy or haven't been following me for a long time. Um, I, the, the, the reason I'm making this channel is not to help you. I know that kind of sounds a little bit weird. Um, but the intention that I had for the channel was to document my process as a trader and to document my journey of getting better and sharing things that I learned throughout that process of getting better. Um, I am not for one second saying that I know everything. I am not a guru. I don't know. I, I don't have any institutional experience. Um, I've not made kind of 15 plus percent per month consistently. I've only been kind of consistent in my trading for a year, I would say. It took me three years to get consistent. Um, I am not making crazy returns. You know, I, I don't have a finance background. I come from a design background. I'm, I'm dyslexic. I had two GCSEs when I when I finished uni uh, not university uh, school. Um, you know, I can list loads of other things. Um, I am not saying I know all the answers. I am basically giving you. Uh, I am giving you things that I learn over the process of trading okay um so yeah i i that that quote means quite a lot because it's i understand that i don't know everything right i it's that whole thing of if you were to stay in this box right if you were to stay in this box and you're that top 10 percent to everyone else you look like you know everything because you're the you're the top dog right if you were to move up that level you're now you don't know anything compared to these other people and you're seen as knowing nothing and it, it's it's very very hard for people to realize that they are done compared to other people right people like to think that they're amazing and that's why you stay in your little comfort zone of of, of friends because you're you're probably earning more than everyone else and it makes you feel good and you don't want to be uncomfortable knowing that you're stupid essentially um i know that's kind of harsh but yeah you're not stupid overall obviously but you're stupid compared to other people if you were to move up those levels the next one is to move away from your parents and make your own choices. This can mean loads of things, right? Do, do If you were to make a decision, okay? If you were to make a big decision in your life and your parents said no, would you do it anyway? 
If the answer to that is yes, you would do it, then skip this. If the answer is no, ask yourself why, right? Your parents are not living your life. You're living your life. You need to be making your own decisions. They made their choices. You need to make your choices. If your parents are saying, don't invest in this, it's risky. Don't, you know, uh, build assets. Don't uh, do all these kind of things. That Because they're, that's what they've been brought up with. Ignore them, right? Say, okay, I, I understand that you're trying to look after me and find, you know, keep me out of danger or whatever. But I know what I'm doing. Okay, let me do this and, you know, just just kind of leave me alone. I appreciate that you um, are looking out for me, but I need to take this risk. Just because you didn't take the risk when you were younger, this is like a general example. Um, just because you didn't take the risk doesn't mean that I can't take the risk. Okay, um, it's, I, it's a huge, huge thing. Um, I've dealt with it myself. Um, I'm sure that a lot of you have dealt with it. That's that section done. Let's move on to the next section, which is to 10x everything. If you've read the 10x rule by Grant Cardone, you will know where this is going, okay? It's a very, very short section, but it's a massive thing in terms of mindset. A lot of people do not think big enough. There, there's... Um, there's kind of a saying in terms of success and things where um, it's better to aim high and shoot for um, and fall short than it is to aim too low and hit it. A lot of people do this. A lot of people will set goals for themselves that are way too small, way too small, right? It, it's so. I'm not saying that this is a small goal, right? Once I say it, this will make sense. I'm not saying that this is a small goal by any means. But if you look at Titan Fury, for example, his goal was to beat Klitschko, I believe. I, I, yeah, I think. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments below. But his main goal was to be a champion and beat him when he was like at the top. And once he did that, he then had no goal, right? So he had no purpose. He had nothing that he was, he, he'd hit his main goal and he didn't know what to do. And he slid into uh, the depression and all this kind of thing because he didn't know what to do. Bugsy Malone talks about, um, you have a treadmill, right? And all these different goals are being put on this treadmill. And once you hit that final thing that drops off the treadmill, there's now nothing left on the treadmill and you have nothing else to do and you fall off the treadmill. So it's, it's I know that was kind of a weird saying, um, but you need to have big goals. So whatever your goal is, if it's to make a thousand a month from trading, your goal now after this video needs to be 10,000. Okay, it needs to be 10,000. I do not care if you think that that is a lot of money, right? It's not a lot of money. Now, I know that you're saying, well, it's a lot of money to me, or blah, 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 blah. That is a mindset thing. That's not a you thing, right? If, so Jeff Bezos, for example, do you think he cares about 10,000? Honestly, no, he doesn't. Um, so if it's if it doesn't matter to him, it shouldn't matter to you. Now, I know that they are different circumstances and he has a lot more kind of assets than you do. Um, but what I'm saying is it's a mindset shift. If you're seeing 10,000 as a lot of money and a goal that you're never going to be able to hit because of the situation that you're in now, Jeff Bezos did not start where he is. He started exactly where you are. Right now, there obviously are going to be different circumstances, but he started with nothing. That's what I'm trying to say. And to him, I'm guessing that 10,000 was not a lot of money in his mindset because of the massive goal that he had. Right, he had a huge goal, 
And to him, the 10,000 was not a large goal. So he's still going. I don't know what his goal is, but it's probably massive. And uh, it's important to kind of consistently build up your goals. Um, you know, if you're making 10,000 a month, what about you aim for 100,000? What if you aim for a million? What if you aim for 10 million? 100 million? All these kind of things are 100% doable. If someone else can make a million a month, there's plenty of people making a million a month, then you can do it as well, right? I'm not trying to be like a motivational thing bit here, but it's a 10x thing. Read that book and it will change your mindset in terms of what is doable, right? 10x everything. So another kind of example for this is, you know, do you want to be able to work out for 15 minutes a day? I don't know. Let's say that is a goal of yours. Try and work out for 150 minutes a day, right? That might be a lot, but it's just kind of the example that I'm, I'm giving. Whatever your goal is, if it's to put on uh, 10 pounds of muscle this year, right? Or lose 10 pounds, try and 10x it and, and do that kind of stuff. You might not hit it. It might be unrealistic in terms of an actual goal, but the mindset shift. That what the goal of this is to make you think that your original goal is tiny. That's the goal. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, stay uncomfortable and become confident. I know those aren't really kind of goals, but... Um, the So the section... Again, this isn't goals, it's just kind of tips and stories that I've learned over the over my years. Um, I'm not saying that I have many years of experience, but I kind of I kind of learn I can't remember where it was. I think it was in a video somewhere. But monks sleep on uncomfortable beds. Um, the reason for this is a lot of people stay in bed, right? If if your alarm goes off, I'm, I guarantee you if your alarm has gone off You've hit the snooze button and thought, this is too comfortable to get up, right? This is too nice, it's too warm, it's too soft. And you stay in bed. The reason the monks sleep on uncomfortable beds is because when that alarm goes off, they don't want to sleep in that bed. It's horrible. It's uncomfortable, it's cold, it's hard. It hurts your back. And you just want to get up. You literally, like, you'd rather get up and get shit done, then stay in that bed because it's uncomfortable. So, you know, I'm not saying you get an uncomfortable bed, but I'm saying you have that mindset of don't don't get into your comfort zone. Don't get into that soft place where it's an easy place to be. Uh, the next thing is to create affirmations that create certainty. Now, affirmations, um, some of you might think it's bullshit. Some of you might think it's amazing. Personally, I'm kind of in the middle leaning to it's amazing. Um, I've had personal experience with this. Um, so I am kind of leaning towards it, but I haven't done it for long enough to see long-term benefits. It could have just been a fluke. But, you know, create affirmations. Just try it, right? If you think it's bullshit, that's fine. Try it for 30 days and see what happens, right? Try it. The next one is cre uh, focus on results that make change. So I think a lot of people focus on goals, but they don't actually focus on things that are going to change anything. If your goal is to make a thousand a month, that's great. But how do you actually do that? Write down step by step how you can do that. And these goals are your individual, or these steps are your individual goals now. Aim to make these your goals so that you can hit them. And if you hit these goals consistently, you will then hit your main goal at the end of it. The next one is do what scares you. Okay. It, so for me personally, I was scared to make my first YouTube video. I, I, it was scary. Now it's fine. Right. It was scary to set up Trade Happy as a limited company because I'd never done it before now it's fine 
I was scared to make a prop firm because I was worried that, you know, if I if I kind of fail in this, it makes me look bad. If I like what if the investor disappears and the whole prop firm has to shut down I'm left oops, sorry. Uh, and I'm left with nothing. That makes me look bad and it's scary. You just have to do it, right? It's just one of these things where you have to do what scares you because that's how you grow. And the next thing, the last thing, is to create high performance routines and habits. Um, I've made plenty of videos on this. I'm not going to be going into this. Just watch from those videos. Uh, if I can, I'll link it up here. So we have two uh, sections to go over still. If you're enjoying this, please hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this video. And if you found any kind of value from these videos and you want to get more value, hit the join button below. I do daily live streams that go well over an hour every single day where we cover everything, right? We cover strategies, um, company updates, as in terms of you'll see. Uh, so recently we designed a, a, the website. Um, so the new website is designed. We designed it fully on stream. We're doing loads of different things. So if you are interested in getting involved in Trade Happy a little bit more, um, make sure to hit that join button. And yeah, make sure to come and join the live streams, say hi, and have an input in where the company goes. You know, you're not forced to, but you know, if you want to have a say in where Trade Happy goes in the future, make sure to hit that join button and make sure to come and join the live streams. Now, let's get back to it. The next thing is to develop a plan. Okay, not a trading plan, just a plan. Write down your goals. Okay, so write down your 10x goals that we spoke about. Write down a step-by-step -step plan to accomplish each goal. Okay, so if you have uh, a goal of 10, uh, you want to make 10,000 a month. Okay, write down 15 steps. It needs to be 15. It has to be 15. 15 or more. So write down 15 steps to accomplish this £10,000 goal. Now, I do not write down, I need to make 9000 a month. I need to make 8000 a month. I need to make 7000 a month. Don't do it, okay? Write down actionable steps to actually hit that goal, okay? Next thing is to create a high-performance morning routine and night routine. I have a video on the channel. I linked it above. Make sure to go and have a look at that. Uh, create a Trello board to set up tasks and daily reminders so that you can accomplish all of these. Um, personally, I've, I have goals and then I have a checklist inside of these on Trello of the 15 steps that I need to do to accomplish these goals. The last thing is to keep, find someone to keep you accountable. Um, that can be a mentor, that could be a friend, that could be a family member, but they need to tell you if you're doing shit. They need to tell you, right? They need to keep you accountable. They can't be soft on you. And the last thing is to embody the trade happy met methodology. Methodology. So, number one is to choose your friends carefully. Okay. Number two is to 10x your goals. Number three is to create high performance routines and habits. Number four is to create your own reality. Number five is to focus on what you can change. Number six is develop an action plan. And number seven, is it number seven? Uh, is to work hard until you get your goals. Number eight is to stop complaining. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it was a very, very long video. Thank you so much to everyone that made it to the end of this video. Uh, you know, I couldn't, it, it, I can't say enough how much I appreciate the people that make it to the end of these videos, okay? I cannot appreciate you guys enough. Um, you know, it means, it means so much because when I started this, I know I'm going to go on a little bit of a ramble here, um, but when I started the YouTube channel, I, I was thinking to myself, there's no way anyone's going to watch me because I have a monotone voice. I know I'm, tr I'm trying to get better on it. I had, I was recording on my phone 
I was recording in my parents kind of house in my bedroom. I didn't have a finance background, all these kind of things that I was telling myself. And it was like, no one's going to watch me. Why would anyone watch me? I, I, I'm just a normal person, right? That's what I was telling myself. And for the people that are sat here right now watching this, I can't tell you enough how much it means to me. Um, I know that you've only just like watched one video to the end and, and it, it's not in the grand scheme of things a massive thing, but to me that's a huge, huge thing. And yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I can't kind of tell you enough how much it means to me. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for, for making it to the end of the video. Um, comment below if you made it to the end of the video. And um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll screenshot it and put, the, put it at the start of the next video um, as a little thank you um, from me. So have an amazing day. If you want to join the private live streams, make sure to go and hit that join button. Um, and yeah, have an amazing day. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hope you found value in this. And remember traders, trade happy.